Hello! Occupy, Occupy Homes, Homes, Minnesota! We are the, the Wells, Wells Fargo 14. 14 from Occupy Philly. My name is Dustin Slaughter. My name is Gina. My name is, uh, at least people know me as Jacob Russell. So I'm Tony Abad. I'm part of Occupy Philly. I work here in Philadelphia as a housing counselor. I actually work with homeowners who are facing foreclosure. My name is Larry Sweatman. I am one of the Wells Fargo 14 and uh, I am uh, coming to you all because I wanted to show some solidarity. I was arrested in November of 2011 with um, 13 other really good uh, Occupy activists and friends who have become very dear to me. We sat down in a bank to take a stand for justice to say that we weren't going to tolerate Wells Fargo or the big banks or the financial industry taking money from our school district or taking money from our city. Wells Fargo has taken tens of millions of dollars from the Philadelphia Public School District. I wanted to stand up to um, a system that refuses to prosecute bankers. And uh, we were found not guilty in a trial by our peers, by a jury of our peers, and that's awesome. The people of Philadelphia found us not guilty um, because we're not, um, because we are uh, <laughs> We are the people coming to the uh, to bring the voice of the people, and uh, and uh, and I feel like we were exonerated and justified for what we did. My name is Marnie Snyder, and I had the privilege of representing one of the uh, Occupy 14 in Philadelphia, Wells Fargo 14, right? The joy that I felt for them, um, really, the the way that they were vindicated was. <laughs> absolutely amazing and I hope the same for all of you. The verdict means a lot to me that we were found not guilty um, but we didn't go into Wells Fargo that day to be found not guilty. Uh, we went in there because it was the right thing to do. I feel that it was the right decision. If they had found us guilty I still would feel not guilty. So I really want to tell all the folks in Minnesota that you're doing a great job, that Occupy Homes Minnesota is, is awesome, that I'm really excited about this um, foreclosure and eviction free zone, and that um, we're totally in solidarity with, with what you're doing, and we'd like to um, hopefully work together in the future to um, make sure that these uh, evictions and uh, these illegal foreclosures stop happening. Don't ever think that what you stand up for doesn't mean anything, because it absolutely does because there's no one else out there that's doing that. I want to thank all of you for what you did, and I want you to know that we stand with you. I have been doing this for some time. Uh, during the Vietnam War, I was a non-cooperator. I refused to carry a draft card. Also was active in the civil rights movement. I was in Mississippi in 1966, and without going into it, um, I was a part of the, uh, the James Meredith March Against Fear. Um, we were tear gassed and billy clubbed and driven out of um, African American school in Canton, Mississippi. And as leaders of a, a work camp in, in rural Mississippi, uh, I was kicked out of the state of Mississippi in 1966. For all of you in Minnesota who were arrested, um, hold to it, hold fast. What you're doing matters. What you're doing, people are listening, they're understanding what's going on in this world. Activism matters, so what you're doing is making history. Believe in yourselves. I love you. So from all of us in Philadelphia, Solidarity! Solidarity.